We're in the preliminary fact-finding phase of the investigation here on scene today, and we expect to complete our on-scene portion of the investigation by later this afternoon when we recover the aircraft. During this time, we are collecting the perishable evidence um, that will not be here after today. After we leave on scene, the aircraft will be recovered to a facility in Jacksonville, Florida, where Lycoming engines will join the FAA and the others of us from the National Transportation Safety Board to further our investigative activities. What we know thus far is that yesterday at about 11.25 Eastern Standard Time, a Mooney M20P tail number 1149 Tango crashed into the yard of a residence here in Bartow. Both occupants were fatally injured. The airplane belonged to the Spruce Creek Flying Club in the Daytona area and appeared to be a part of a four-ship aircraft formation flying into the Bartow Airport. We have witnesses from the airport that observed the four-ship formation coming into the airport and observed the accident aircraft nose down um, in the final moments of the flight while still in formation with the two trailing aircraft. The aircraft impacted the ground in a near vertical uh, attitude. We have located all four corners of the aircraft. So all of the wreckage is here in a very small localized area. We don't believe weather played a role, but we will be looking at that as part of our investigation. When we conclude this investigation, uh, we'll have a preliminary report in approximately 10 days. And you can expect after the preliminary report, which will be made available, a final report in about, 14, or about 18 to 24 months from now. The NTSB does investigate every civil aviation accident in the United States. Our hope is that we can determine what happened so that we can perhaps prevent it from happening again and increase aviation safety in the United States. Um, with that, I do have time for questions. Well, Spencer, can you tell us, um, it's a two-part question basically, how common is it to have a four-ship formation flying into an airport for civilian aircraft? And secondly, as part of that, was there any evidence or has there been any um, witness accounts of contact between those four aircraft that led to this? So the question, um, is about how common it is to have formation aircraft flying and was there contact, contact with the four ship formation. So um, one of the things that we'll be looking into is how common uh, that kind of formation flying is occurring around here. We do know that um, uh, some airplanes associated with the Spruce Creek Flying Club do this kind of formation flying. Um, but that is one of the things we'll be looking more into. Uh, the lead aircraft, I believe, on this flight was communicating with uh, air traffic control, and that is another um, item that we'll be looking further into. Was that the lead aircraft, or was it one of the other three? This was aircraft number four. Uh, aircraft number one landed, followed uh, very quickly by aircraft two and three. They waited for aircraft number four. It had crashed. Can you confirm if this particular aircraft has been uh, involved in any sort of a crash before, uh, specifically with its wings? We will be looking into the history of this aircraft, and that will be a, a regular part of our investigation. We are not there. We look at the man machine and the environment. So we will be looking at the aircraft, all of the records, all of the maintenance. We will be looking at the pilot, all of his, uh, his ratings, uh, his recency of experience. Uh, all of his qualifications. Uh, we will be looking at the weather, um, the environment, uh, the type of flying they were doing. And I'm sorry, did you say there was or wasn't any contact uh, between those four aircraft or you were looking into that? Uh, one of the aircraft was doing the communicating for the four ship and one of the aircraft, the lead aircraft that landed first was communicating with air traffic control. I'm sorry, I meant physical contact. Did they touch each other? We have no reason to believe at this point that the planes touched the pilots the other pilots in the four ship landed safely and did not seem to have awareness of where their fourth ship was.
You mentioned that you'll look at the physical, perishable evidence here. Could you please take me through that? What are the things that NTSB investigators look at in a civil aviation crash like this on scene? What, what are you physically examining? So the question is, what are we looking for when we're here on scene during the on-scene portion of our investigation? Well, when I see perishable evidence, um, we look for fuel stainage on uh, lawns. We look for uh, people that might have witnessed the crash, people who may have heard the crash, camera footage um, that might show the crash, uh, information that we have to get before it goes away. Those are the kind of things we look at on scene. Do you also examine, you know, uh, gauges, uh, indicators inside the aircraft engine? Uh, you know, uh, when you get we have well, we we have fully documented what we can on scene today. When we recover the facility or we recover the airplane to the facility in Jacksonville, at that time, we will further document everything that we couldn't access today. We do a complete layout of the airplane. We do a complete uh, examination of the engine, and we'll continue to gather more facts. Have you talked to witnesses on scene? Has anybody given you information that may help in this investigation? Or has anyone provided, um, like you said, security camera video or any kind of video or photograph? Uh, I understand we have some video footage. I have not seen that video footage yet. We have spoken to witnesses, um, two who indicate that they did see the accident occur. Uh, we have uh, the names and numbers of more witnesses, and we'll be busy doing that uh, this afternoon and tomorrow. Does a small plane like this have a black box? Uh, a Mooney does not have a flight data recorder or a cockpit voice recorder. We do have some equipment uh, that we recovered from this site that uh, should provide us information um, as to the speed, the bank, and the operation um, of the aircraft and the engine. And that will be going to the NTSB uh, Recorders Laboratory in Washington, D.C. for further um, examination. Did you find any fuel on the ground? Because we were talking to neighbors yesterday and they said they heard an engine and then they didn't hear an engine anymore, so I'm wondering, you know, maybe this is on the layman, but could it have just run out of gas? One, we don't speculate. Um, we're in the fact-finding portion of our investigation. Um, we have evidence of fuel on the scene, um, but we, we will look at the fuel lines and the engine um, to ensure that this, that fuel did not play a part. So that's one of the things we will look at. I have time for two more questions. Can you foresee that any of the rules uh, regarding uh, uh, four-man uh, formations uh, would change for uh, clubs such as that? Um, the question has to do with the rules about uh, formation flying. So one of the things we're going to be looking at um, will include the federal aviation regulations pertaining to formation flying um, to ensure that this is a legal flight. Um, and so that, that is absolutely one of the items that we'll be looking at. When you said formation flying, I thought in my mind, my little pea brain, I was thinking one in the front and three in the back because I guess it would look pretty or something. I don't know. But then you described the first one going in, the second landing, and the third. So formation flying could be just linear, and that's what it was in this particular case? Um, I don't know what it was in this particular case, what kind of formation flying is uh, this was. Uh, what I do know is that the witness at the airport saw plane number one on short final, and the three remaining planes uh, who were perhaps sequencing into land, but they were still in formation approximately one half mile from the runway threshold of uh, runway 23 at the airport. So they were still in formation um, when that witness saw uh, one of the planes go inverted, go inverted and nose down. Just real quick, how far are we from the airport? We're approximately a half mile uh, flight path. Thank you very much for your time. I'm getting back to work. I appreciate it.